Hello, this is Jimmy Webb, the Broad River Bee Man, coming to you from Broad River Farms, located in beautiful Elbert County, Georgia. Today I'm here with my son of sons, Goose Webb. How are you doing? Good. And you're a beekeeper? Yes. And how many hives do you have to date? About 30. Okay, and did we work them good today? Yes, we did. All right, and are you feeding them? Yes, we are. And it is March the 10th, isn't it? I think so. Okay. So uh, we're still feeding here in Northeast Georgia. It's been real rainy, a real rainy winter and uh, spring. Uh, but we're going to start seeing some warmer temperatures. But anyway, we are here to discuss our custom made queen cell incubator that he and I built uh, a week or two ago. And while we were looking at building this, we of course watched some YouTube videos of people that have built incubators. So I want to give um, uh, credit when credit is due to Phil Serenfinas. His video that I watched was called Queen Cell Incubator. Jonathan Chitwood, his video was Queen Cell Incubator. Joseph Rawls, his video was My Queen Rearing Incubator and Wade Rush, and he is found at Homesteading in South Carolina. He has a number of videos on wiring up poultry incubators, and pretty much I followed his electrical wiring verbatim for this queen cell incubator that I built. But I think I have built mine a little differently from the others, uh, but I just want to give credit when credit is due. I think that's important whenever you're doing a YouTube video do not leave out the people that gave you inspiration. Ain't that right? Yeah. All right. Now, our incubator, I started off with three quarter inch plywood. And as it, it actually cooked for a week with humidity and the temperature, it started bowing up. It actually busted the lock. I know I got dirty hands. We've been working in the beehives today. That's called... Uh, hard beekeeper working hands right there but anyway i had which uh, the sash on a, like the a window that closed it but it popped so we had to put these latches on no big deal so basically this is an stc 1000 at 92 degrees or at 92 degrees the lamp goes off so pretty much you can set your temperature setting that you want to keep at temperature setting. And you hit that and it's at 92 degrees. And I could go up to 93, 94, 95, 96, whatever. But I like to keep mine at 92 degrees. And then you hit the power button. Okay, the lamp should be off in there. But uh, so it's going down. Now I'll show you you just set the temperature of where you want it, the lamp to cut back on. So I think that's the DS here. And if you hit this one more time, it's at one degree or two degrees, three degrees, four degrees, five degrees. But I want it to, when it hits 91, I want the, this controller to, um, to connect the circuit and allow the lamp to come, come back on. So at 91.7, the lamp should be off in our incubator. Now we're gonna open it up now. If you would hold this up and don't let it fall back, we haven't got any change to hold it. The lamp is off. Now when it hits 91 since we opened it, you will see it's at 91.7. It'll come on in a minute. I have a fan that I built I saw how they would mount them with zip ties and whatever, but I built custom just a little frame and I attached it to a board that I can move it anywhere in this incubator that I that I want to. Uh, and I th that's something I did not see in the videos. Um, Mr. Rawls used a reptile. Um, it's not a bulb, it's just a heating element. I'm using a, a uh, heating bulb and it hits this, the fan then curls it around and you can get to my queen cells here. And I have the temperature sensor right here. 
you can see it right there. So it's going around here. The fan is, is circulating the heat. And I, and I don't have any water in here right now, but I would have been putting water in a tub below the fan with a dish rag in it. But I think I need to do, yep, there you go. I think I need to do better than that. So we're going to actually um, put a humidifier into this thing somehow in the next week or two, and I will post a video update on that. But pretty much whenever I come out, out of the yard, I'll have my queen cells and put them in here and I'll transfer them and put them, I have my NICOT system here, which I use occasionally. Um, but pretty much these are getting ready. I'm gonna start graphing next week and I'll put them here. And sometimes I'll use, I got those in, in the NICOT system in there now. And I saw a video where you can put the water in here and I hadn't tried that into a raised comb. I'm going to try to go the humidifier way. But this, I believe, is going to work well. The temperature is, uh, is it's not kicking on and off. It's main, once it runs for an hour or two, the wood gets heated up. And it takes about five minutes after the lamp cuts off to actually to, for it to drop down to 91 degrees and it kicks on. And it usually takes about two to three minutes for it to, to cycle and cut off again. So this is, and this is pretty much the guts and um, Wade Rush with Homestead in South Carolina. If you go to his videos, Exactly how he uh, wired up the um, STC 1000 is the way I, I wired it up. Uh, it takes a little bit of time, but you can do it. Uh, and instead of having all the wires and stuff out, like the majority of the videos of the people that I've seen do poultry incubators and, and other um, queen cell incubators, I just like to have their own space in the in if I have to move this or anything like that it's not gonna pull any wires loose and it provides me a little storage here as well I might try to figure out how I can use this space to put a, a cool mist humidifier and put a humidity controller out here for that as well and if I do that instead of using the the bowl uh, full of water, then I will post a video on that as well. So I hope this gives you some inspiration. Uh, it, uh, uh, mine is it's different than the others. It's just configured different, but the all of them are, are on the same principle. You got to have heat. You got to got to have controlled heat between 91 and 92, and you got to have humidity. You got to have your moisture. Uh, and you got to be able to keep that up and uh, proper. And I have not finished that with this particular version of our uh, queen cell incubator. But I think I'll be able to to uh, make this work this year. And we're excited uh, because Goose wants to learn every aspect of of uh, beekeeping, and I'm excited to show him. So if you like this video, please hit subscribe and uh, subscribe to the other people that I gave credit to. Huh? Turn post notifications on. Oh yeah, Tur turn your post. Post notifications on. Turn your post notifications on, whatever that means. My, my son knows all about YouTube. And hit the little bell, and it'll let you know of any future videos that we have in the future. Thank you, and God bless. Bye.